All right, what is up, my friends? It's time for the Throne of Eldraine special preview event, early access. Big thanks to Wizards of the Coast for uh, helping all streamers out with a little early access. As usual, we have brewed 10 decks. We're going to play all 10 decks. We're going to play five games with each deck. And uh, if you miss any of them, they'll all be up on YouTube. So make sure you check all those out. It's going to be a long stream, of course. And if you're watching on YouTube, make sure you favorite and subscribe. Okay? Our first deck. I've got a quick gander at the decks. Here of a decks right here. Also notice in the top corner of a stream. That's Zibby Cam. That's our new mascot. His name is Zibby. His real name is Banajad, but we call him Zibby. He's a hamster. He's our new mascot. Show some love for the old Zibster. All right? So, we are playing our first deck, Mono Black Presence. Everyone loves Mono Black decks. I don't know why, but they really do. People wanted Mono Black Control to be a thing for about a decade after it stopped being a thing. And this isn't really a control deck. It's a little more of a mid-range deck, but it's got a lot of new cards in it. And uh, we're going to go through. So, let's hit the cards that aren't new first. You know, we got Liliana, some Mythic Rares here, Cavalier of Night, uh, Dread Presence, a card from M20, a 3-3 three, three for five, 4, and has landfall, Swamp Fall, either Draw, Lose a Life, or Mini Lightning Helix. And Powerful Card, we actually played this card um, on Your Deck Live in Modern uh, a few days ago. That'll also be on YouTube later. And um, we uh, we got a pretty powerful effect here. Um, every land drop being a, a drawn card or a helix is very good. Uh, infinite removal, infinite card draw. It's a little fragile, but this is a pretty powerful card. More of a 5 drop. Want to cast this card on turn 5 if we can, and then play a swamp. So we gain value immediately. So it always at least draws us a card or kills something. So... That's the um, that's the old card, right? The big old card, and Cavalier of Night's also pretty good too. Um, super super cabra, super cabra, if you will. And um, now let's look at the new cards. There are there are a lot of them. Um, first up, Murderous Rider. I think this is one of the best cards in the set. Um, this is a hero's downfall. However, you lose two life, and honestly, that's probably playable by itself. That would be a very good card in standard, but you get a back end too. This is an adventure. Those who don't know what adventure cards do, basically the bottom left is sort of like a split card for the entire card. Where if you cast the bottom left part, the instant, it's, you cast it like an instant, goes on a stack, and then if, if it resolves, it gets put into exile, and that's your adventure zone. And then you can cast creatures from your adventure zone. And you can also just cast it as a creature normally. So it's sort of like a weird mixture of like flashback and a split card. Um, but the most important thing is it's just card advantage. It's just a hero's downfall with a 2-3 lifelink attached to it. So obviously the the creature side of this isn't very good, right? A 2-3 lifelink for 3, that sucks, whatever. But how about, think about it this way. Cast hero's downfall, draw a card, and it's a creature. That's pretty good. So this is one of the best cards in the set. Uh, really, really, really good card. Uh, just phenomenally good on power level. Then we have uh, Blacksmithic Rare. Rankle, Master of Pranks, a 3-3 Haste Flyer for 4, which is already pretty good. And then whenever it deals combat damage to a player, you can do any number of these things. Each player discards, each player loses a life and draws a card, each player sacrifices a creature. So we have some fodery creatures we'll get to, but uh, this thing can attack Planeswalkers, it can draw some cards, it does a lot of things. It's going to be a little hard to break the symmetry, but we're going to see if we can do that. And then we got... Ayara, maybe? Ayara, first of Lockthwain. Black, black, black. It's obviously a pretty heavy commitment here. Uh, for a 2-3. And uh, whenever it, or another black creature enters the battlefield, you drain your opponent for one. You can tap it, sack a black creature, draw a card. So, another pretty good card here. Um, we have some fodder in our deck we're going to get to. So, we kind of have this... This card draw thing flowing, life drain thing flowing, which is pretty good. These are the, these are the elements you need to make a to make a good mid range deck. Um, our other card is not black. This is a card I meant to put in my love hate article. If you missed that one, it's on CoolStuffInc.com. I do a love hate article every uh, every new set before the set comes out. Going over cards that I love and hate from a new set. So you can see that on CoolStuffInc.com. Um, and it's on there somewhere. I'll, whatever you can find it. And um, this is a card that was on my love list, but. I just couldn't fit the, uh, I couldn't fit it. You know, I just, we have word counts, so I gotta adhere to. I think this card's really good. Raise your hand in chat if you remember the card 
Phyrexian Rager. This was a standard playable card. Phyrexian Rager was a 2-2 for 3. But when it came into play, you lost a life and drew a card. This is a 2-3 for 3. That you just draw a card. Obviously, we have 2 Blast Zone. So let's, ho let's hope that doesn't come up. But yeah, just a 2-3 Cantrip Creature. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Um, card Advantage... It's kind of like uh, like Rogue Refiner. It kind of just keeps the keeps the ball rolling, you know. And um, definitely a very powerful card. Um, so that's a pretty cool one. Um, we also have another M20 hold over here, uh, Yarox Fen Lurker, um, super ravenous rat. Basically, it's a ravenous rat that also shades, which is pretty good. And then our most important card probably is Dreadhorde Invasion. So a lot of our cards so far have talked about sacrificing a creature for some sort of value. Um, well, this is an Endless Supply Creatures. Simple as that. Um, so you play this, make a token, then you play Arya, or I, I, uh, whatever the hell it is. Um, and sacrifice a creature, draw a card, make creature drain a life, and then you can sack creature to Cavalier, sack creature to Rankle. All pretty cool. All pretty cool. So, little removal, this figure at Legion's End. Um, we're playing two Orzhov Enforcers. I don't know, I wanted another early creature. There's definitely a hole in the cast down slot. Um, and. You also want a card that's not terrible against, like, control decks. You know, we can sacrifice this to our sacrifice effects, get a flyer. You know, it's fine. It's fine. Um, top end is a uh, Liliana and an Ugin. Also, we're getting a lot of value from our lands here. Like, a lot of value from our lands. We have three Castle Lockthwain. Um, basically, just a super swamp. As long as you have a swamp in play, which you obviously should, comes in untapped, and tap three draw a card, then lose life to the number of cards in your hand. Kind of like a hellbent land uh, draw-y card thingy. Why does everyone watch my stream? I can't even talk. I can't even... <laughs> the, it's like the card that does the, the thingy and make the hand motion because I'm Italian. <laughs> but yeah, this is, a, this is a really... The opportunity cost on these uh, unicorns and Chuck. Thanks to resubs. Appreciate it. Um, and also, also miss Little Mercy. I'm sorry. So... This card's really good. This is just a swamp with extra value on it. Um, then we have Witch's Cottage, which is a common swamp. It's actually a swamp. Um, and you can play it if you don't have three other swamps in play. comes in tapped. If you do, it puts a creature from your graveyard on top of your library, which is a really, really nice thing to have your land do in a late game so um i mean we have five non-swamps in our deck so i don't think that the castles would be a problem and then we have two blast zones for a little extra value um just a little master removal against like a, a fast uh, a fast night deck something like that so uh it's only best of one in these streamer previews so we're gonna play five games get a feel for the deck and that's our flow for the day we're playing a lot of lands in this deck i think it's like 25 or 26 lands total so all right, Naya Giants is later. That is later, not now. Um, Monoblock Presence, let's go. Yes, and then the Witch's Cottage plays very well with, with Dread Presence because you can just draw the creature immediately because you just draw the card, too, if you stack it right. So, 26 lands is a lot. We have a lot to do with our mana. Um, strong Sad, Todd Anderson. Todd, I'm coming for you. If you haven't seen Todd's stream, check it out. Todd's awesome. I, I love Todd. All right, sounds great. Keep seven. The stream is going to go on. Uh, this is not the 24-hour stream. I'm going to go on until all 10 decks are done. We have 10 decks, five games each. Probably take, probably take about 10 hours, maybe. Maybe 12 hours. Depends. Roll Todd. So, like, look at the card advantage here. Every creature is a card advantage. Play Fenlarker. Use a card. Clockwork Servant. Draw a card. Yes, this is officially day 21 of September. This is the last official day of September to get your half-price subs. It's funny, I actually streamed the day before September also, so this is actually 22 days in a row for me. Um, it's pretty good. Nice Witch's Cottage. Um, but yeah, so it's still half-price subs. We hit, we hit all our goals. 24-hour um, stream when I return from TwitchCon. You can see ZibbyCam. I think he's sleeping already. Yeah, he's out. <laughs> but uh, ZibbyCam, and uh, yeah, life's good. So, yeah, I think this card's really, really good. I'm really, I'm really mad at myself for not putting this card on a, 
on my love hates. All right, Ugin is gone. So this Todd taking my six drop says he wants to play a longer game here. So now we need to decide if we want to cast the the Araya or the Servant. Um, Zabanajad is our new our new stream mascot. Ooh, it's got a little a little glowy effect. That's cool. All right, I think we're gonna play this thing. Donation bonus leak info is in the sub Discord. Uh, it's called Your Deck Live. We're currently beta testing it for subs only. Murderous Rider at sorcery speed. Hmm. That's a good draw, Liliana. All right, so um, let's draw a card first. I am adamant about this. And then do I want to put the Araya on top of our deck? Or no. I think I do, honestly. Just keep it rolling. Rankle's pretty good, too. Looks like we're going to be playing a longer game here. Let's get some value. Yeah, Witch's Cottage is pretty good. Cool art, too. Alright, so there's your there's your first adventure. Adventure flashback effect. It's 2-3 lifelinker. It's fine. Um, we could Rankle here. And make each player... So it's discard, then draw, then sacrifice. That's pretty good. We sack our Fenlurker to kill the Rider. We have a Rankle. Otherwise, we could just uh, Araya. Kind of like drawing cards. It's kind of weird because like, it draws a card, but also makes him discard a card. Well, I don't know what, what we want to discard. This card's really weird. I think we're going to hit it. Hype for throne. Unicorn, hype. <laughs> That's fun. Um, all right, so each player has a sacrifice creature for sure. I kind of want to just draw. I don't think I want each player to discard. I just want to draw cards. I'm gonna make some land drops. Cast Liliana. Another rankle. Noom. Rouse Outburst? Sure. We got Grindfest uh, 2K19 here. Alright, another Swamp is good. Um, I think we're just... Orion... Ayara? I don't know what the hell it is. This card. Elf Noble. What's Elf Noble? Cool? Cool. Drain of Life. Oh, they are at, Ty is at, at 8 here, too, so... Just want to draw a land. Get Liliana online. Man, Liliana plays, plays really well with uh, this card, too. I want two Lilianas in this deck. I think I have one Ugin, one Liliana, but. Yeah, a lot of chip shot damage here, which is pretty good. I, Yara. No minus three, minus three Wrath? No. Alright, Daddy's home. That's okay, though. Kill that thing? Sure. Man, no rankle. I mean, no, uh, no land sucks. I mean, we can, like, leave up Murderous Rider and just play Invasion. I don't think we, don't think we need a rankle here. I don't want to hold the rankle, actually. Where's this I go? Alright, sure. So they're gonna kill the servant. So now I can I could rankle it. I think it's rankle rankle can stay and sacrifice the it doesn't even do anything though. Um or we could just murderous rider it. 
kind of like murderous riders. If I draw a land, I want to cast Liliana, so it's not, yeah, it's not awesome, but oh my god, we're gifting subs and no land. Tilt. All right, whatever. All right, I would like each player to lose a life and draw a card. Castle Blockthwain. Do I... I just play this, right? New subs! What are your names? Where are you from? Welcome, my friends. Yeah, this is... I'm playing this card. I'm playing a similar deck to this later, actually. I like a Grixis Fires Invention deck. I think this card is just awesome. Um, I only have one deck with it. I tried building a bunch of decks with it, but it seems very hard to use uh, initially. Um, I, it's... Gotta figure it out. You know? Blast Zone? Sure. I mean, we're just Liliana here, and probably gonna be the game. I mean, Todd can't cast spells on my turn, so... Wyatt, I appreciate that. Thank you. Like, who needs other colors, you know? Stuff is Murderous Riders hanging out. Angrats Rampage. Alright. Murderous Riders, sure. That's it. That's, that's, that's two spells, dude. Jim be solo, Jim be solo. Uh, Ballwagger. Welcome back, my friend. All right, one and zero. One and zero so far with our mono black deck. Um, all these new cards are really good. Honestly. No drafts today. No. Why would I draft when I could just like play all these fun new decks? You know. All right, so we got a fun thing today. Every time I win a game, we're putting a code in chat. It's coming. Get ready for it. This code is for some free XP. Um, it doesn't work until Throne of Eldraine actually releases, though. And it's courtesy of Witches of a Coast. Thank you again to Witches of a Coast for sponsoring this uh, this stream. I don't know about Rankle. I'm, I'm really... It's a very weird card. Um, spells that return instantly... No. Adventures are creatures everywhere but on the stack when they're being cast as a spell. Uh, yeah. We can keep this. Poco, Risa, welcome back. Temple of Triumph. Rankle's weird, though, because, like, it's... Like, a 3-3 three, three haste for 4 is fine, you know, but its abilities have to be good. Oh, uh, we beat Zod. Alright, uh... Fen Lurker, Ravenous Rats. How do you know who gets it? Uh, that's super awkward, yeah. Um... All right. Yeah, it's it's it is one per account. All right, I guess we'll do giveaway things for them. It's such a hassle for eighteen codes. Um. Yeah, but the thing is that if it it is just be first person to use it, we'll uh, we'll get it. I'll think about it. Mods, think about it. What's a good way to do it? All right. So this thing just makes a a two two and it's a three three. It's a unicorn. Alright, um... Pretty sure we're casting Dreadhorde. Is this is a card you want to cast ASAP. I'm just going to disfigure an attack, I think, too. Kind of a weird card to play in Constructed, you know? Feather? Um, Feather makes Rankle look 
pretty stupid. <laughs> uh, we're gonna kill this right now. And, uh... Just keep going to work here. Keep going to work. Yeah, who are my mods who are gonna be here all day? Aurelia? Alright. How about a land? We do land? Yes, we can. I'll give him the old cavalier. Uh, and. Eh, it's fine. LeBron James! He's not a cav anymore. He's not a cav anymore. Here for the next two hours. Alright, well. Alright, well. Just coordinate amongst yourselves in the uh, in the Discord, and we'll. Uh, that's like this card's really good, and we'll figure out how to give away these these codes. All right. Simic Flash. Nope. We are two games in. Uh, Fenlurker, Wrinkle. So we can Wrinkle and like draw the Fenlurker and then cast it, or we could just play Fenlurker, Wrinkle, attack with Cavalier and Wrinkle. Let's tackle everything. I mean, our rankle's not very good then, but that's fine. I guess we're gonna get their last card. So, each player is gonna discard. That's perfect. Each player discards. That's so weird. Right, so they exiled a shining armor. Um, I'm not gonna put this on top. We're gonna just give him the old bashy bash. They'll probably block the 3 3, but it's the same as sacrificing it, so whatever. Alright, so now. I, mean, I, I want to draw cards, it's so weird, you know? Like, But I guess it happens in this order, right? Discard, then draw. So, I actually we want to do this. So they lose the card in hand, then we bolt draw a card. Alright. They just discard Justice Strike, and then they draw a fresh card, we draw a fresh card. Follow up for playing Mono Black. Well, thanks my friend, appreciate it. If you're tuning in, welcome to the stream. Have it that follow button, hit that follow button, of course, watching on YouTube, make sure you follow in there. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Legion's End. I mean, we're just, uh... We're just getting in, right? I'm just sending these two. I mean, they're gonna block, I guess. Just fine. Uh, we could pump this twice, but we're gonna want to do other stuff, so... Let's tack. We're not playing Midnight Reaper. I feel like there was enough uh, card advantage and too many threes, so... We're not playing the uh, Reaper. It could be a thing. Can you give me a Prime sub and an iPad? Probably. Oh, there's six? Oh, yeah, they're low. Yeah, that's, uh, that's fair. I mean, it's lethal. They don't have anything. I don't really feel they need to, need to play into anything. I could have probably killed them, but whatever. Um, we're going to discard and draw... We get a two, we draw Eugene. I don't know folks, this game's looking pretty uh pretty close. Ah. Really uh, oh, I'm sorry, pretty lights now. Nah, I, I don't. We're we're bashing through fifty games of magic today, so. Ooh, Devil Spell. They're coming in. They're making moves. Making moves. Not really effective moves, but moves nonetheless. 
All right, 2-0, and oh, mono black. Good start so far. Good start. Type in mono black in chat for your chance to win one of these uh, special arena experience codes. Please note the code will not work until it officially releases on Thursday. Thursday. That mono black victory was brought to you by Colos Apparel and Designs. Check it out. Look. I got my shirts. They're so comfortable. Arr. I got my shirts from Coalesce. Awesome stuff. Check out Coalesce and their uh, phenomenal magic shirts. Not only are the designs awesome, but they are super, super comfortable. Use promo code JIM10. 10% off your order. We're making shirts for the stream, too. It's going to be awesome. Uh, it's going to be awesome. Oh, God, we're broken. What happened? Oh, my God. It's like a slot machine! We win! We win! We win! Alright, I guess I'll, uh... I guess I'll restart Arena. Still in beta, folks. Still in beta. Um... So yeah, Colossus Apparel, that shop, check it out. Um, super awesome designs, and again, these shirts are so comfortable. Now, now I actually have one, I can touch myself and see how comfortable it is. God, they're so comfortable. Check it out, coalesce.apparel. Coalesce.apparel.shop, sorry. Use promo code JIM10, 10% off your order. And uh, doing the giveaway right now for uh, that, that special uh, arena code. And Zibby is out. Zibby's not having it, he is sleeping. Zibby is nocturnal. When I think about this shirt, I touch myself, oh. Alright. Wisdom, new sub, what's your name, where you're from, welcome my friend. Alright. Let's try and get back to our, our third game here. So, I have uh, 18 codes to give away today, courtesy of Wizards of the Coast. Big thanks to them, of course, for uh, providing us with the codes and the accounts and everything they're doing here. And, um, we have a code for, it's, it's like for like a... I think it's like a thousand XP. It's some some amount of XP that will get you probably a pack uh, on your Eldraine Mastery Tree uh, when it releases. Sounds great. Look at all the value in this hand. Just maximum value. I don't do drugs. You shouldn't either. Tell Cedric to get us shirts for the open. I mean, I have like the whole line of shirts. They're larges, uh, but um. Alright, so enforcers, whatever, we're gonna fan lurker. So I, I can I can loan, loan some shirts out. Exiling a swamp. Good swamp art choice. Ooh, a little mono black mirror here. Zibby, you're on TV. Burglar rat. Alright, we're gonna ship the uh, enforcer. You fit in a large in high school? Ah, oh, well, that's good. <laughs> uh, let's see, attack. You know what? Actually, we don't attack. Did they block? Like, I want to keep this creature in play, actually. Let's play our first of luck, Thwain. Todd, new sub. What's your name? Where you from? Welcome, my friend. Solomon from Cincinnati. Favorite card is Arc Slogger. God, Arc Slogger is so old school. Favorite deck is it Arc Light? Puppy name's uh, Sahili. Uh, Solomon. Thank you, my friend. Appreciate it. Alright, so... We can't kill this Priest of Forgotten Gods, which is kind of annoying. Um... Our... It's so awkward, because, like, they activate this, we want to stack the Fen Lurker, but I want to activate this. I want to Dreadlord Invasion. I want to get Presence going. Yeah, Arc Slogger was good times. I'm just gonna play this. I want to get this in play as soon as possible. We'll just say go. We're gonna miss a land drop here. It kind of sucks, but we'll just say go. They can activate the priest. We'll sack Fen Lurker. It's whatever. All right, uh, Lucas from Austria. Sweet, playing since 2003. Uh, favorite card: Ill-gotten gains. Favorite deck: Storm. Cool. Um, Gutterbones, like, our opponent's playing a more, like, low-to-the-ground, aristocrat version of this deck. I imagine they're not playing Presence. Um, Priest of Forgotten Gods is, like, often a trap, I feel like. It just, like, isn't as good as you'd like it to be. Um, but, um, 
obviously many ways to build these decks. That's kind of annoying. Alright, let's, let's guard our Arctranius Legend, I guess. Make that. And Castle Lockthwain. Alright. I mean, we're not casting the Presence into uh, anything. I want to cast this with the Swamp also. Let's play our Servant, see what happens. This card's dope. Murderous Rider, sure. And they can sacrifice another black creature. So you can sacrifice our uh, our zombie army. Sacrifice a black creature, draw a card. Sure. So yeah, as I said earlier, um, I believe the Cardboard Live will display the deck list as I'm playing. But if you want to see all the decks I'm playing today, you got to go to CoolStuffInc.com on Friday. My article will contain every deck list as well as a grade for each deck, my thoughts on each deck, future prospects for each deck. Um, that's fun. And uh, all the info you could ever want. Ten new brews. I do it, do it every set. Follow the exact same... Uh, Procedure. Alright, we're gonna respond to this by uh, sacrificing our thingy and seeing if, what, if I want to discard something else. Uh, so that's kind of awkward. I'm, we're definitely gonna present. I, I want to keep presence in Swamp. I want to kill this Priest of Forgotten Gods next turn. We'll discard the Murderous Rider. Don't really need it. A deck that I think will be best? No idea, Chris. We, we just started. We just started. Combo here, of course. This one comes in. We lose life. We get... Ooh. Legion's End is also pretty good. Um, let's just... Uh, I should do it. We're going to Lightning Helix, the uh, Priest of Forgotten Gods. Lightning Helix, oh my god! And then, uh... Send in our little, uh, gingerbread man here. And just ship a turn, just keep on rolling. I mean, like, we have multiple engines online. This deck's kind of gas, honestly. Like... So they have an Order of Midnight and Adventure World. And they have Gutter Ball in the Graveyard. B. Five month resub, welcome back. So they're gonna Heroes Downfall my thingy. So I can't. Wait, what? And sacrifice another black creature. Alright. Still great. Draw a card. Another Dread Presence. God, draw a Swamp next turn. We're gonna go Bananas. It's basically Tires Tracker, you know? Basically. Yeah, no duels in Throne of Eldrain. Um, definitely, the set's kind of pushing monocolored themes, it feels like. Two Castle Lockthwains. Or Lock... Wayne, whatever. And a 2-2, two -two, sure. It is so funny how bad I want to draw a Swamp there. Um... Alright. This thing can't even block. I guess we're playing presence number two, honestly. And probably just getting in. Have to imagine the allied color Scrylands are in the, the new Theros set. I think this uh, bird scares us too much. That card is scarier. Um, Alright, we're going to disfigure the bird in response. Because uh, if they're going to sack some the Cavalier Knight, I want them to sacrifice this, this thing. They can tap this to draw a card off the bird, which kind of sucks, but... Like, we draw one Swamp next turn and we are... Okay. I guess they're probably going to kill my Dread Presence. They just let it die. 
They didn't draw a card with the thingy? It's weird. Alright, whatever. Alright, I mean... It's funny how bad I want to draw a Swamp. I mean, our Castle Lockthwain is pretty good, too. You just get to draw a card off this thing, too. That's awesome. Alright, let's, uh, let's draw a card off Presence. Well, I'll be... What is the battlefield? Holy crap. I didn't, I didn't read this card fully. That's really good. Um, not bad. Not bad. Yeah, I think Dread Dread Invasion is very, very good in this deck. This is a card that was like pretty hyped early on, and then uh, kind of just faltered. Hype. 600, thanks for the resub, my friend. Appreciate it. Rankle. Pretty fun animation. That's one of the one of the fun parts of a new set on Arena is looking at all the fun animations. It's sunny in Zibby's cage. He's so sleepy. He's just out. Zibby, Zibby's nocturnal. He sleeps during the day. He's not going to be the most active on stream, but he's still pretty great. The Black Castle is really good. Like this card is. Just two mana less than um than uh Arch of Araska, and then also just like a colored source. Ooh, the old rankle, eh? Rankle my ankle. Alright. We are attacking with Cavalier. Rankski. We're gonna leave the presence back, I think. And, and we're at five? Holy crap. When did that happen? Alright. Um, they currently have no cards in hand, right? Yeah, they have zero cards in hand. Yeah, I know we're, we're, we're gaining four here. I'm going to draw, We have us both draw, I guess, because I want to draw a land drop for Dread Presence. Uh, I mean, it's, they can, like, get back Gutter Bones, and they can play Rider, too. Alright. Yeah. So this is 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's 12. If I attack with the presence also, they can double block. And then I take four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's pretty good. And then um we kill both we kill a creature, rankle a creature. Yeah, alright, let's attack with everything. That's true, they can block and sack too. That's pretty good. So they don't so that we don't gain life. Uh, that might be bad for us then. I might have punted. Maybe. I mean, drawing card doesn't matter, so I just make them discard, but. Alright, so we. Each player sacks a creature, and each player discards, and then no draw, and just hope that we don't die, basically. Um, oh, we'll die to the invasion. Ah, crap. Um, so we have we have to draw. All right, we got to draw a, a swamp. We did not. All right, so we're dead. Um, Rankle's so weird. So many weird abilities. I don't think I played this game very well. Um, just did not manage my life total very well at all. Nice deck. Yeah, we could have sacked the Cavalier and got something back too. Yeah, that's true. A lot of new cards, folks. A lot of new cards. Alright. 
Definitely gonna play that game better. That's fine. Two and one. Two and one. The only deck that can beat Mono Black is Mono Black. Are you serious? Alright, cool. Chicago, new sub, what's your name away from welcome my friend? Dio, sure. I will do the I will do the Hogak deck next. That's the one deck on here that I did not build. Alright, two and one. Hogak deck? What? Yep. Stay tuned. God, this card's so good. <laughs> uh, keep. Sounds great. Like, what a card. Just so much free value. The old Ranksky. Do I upload to YouTube? Yes. Follow my YouTube. Everything you see will be on YouTube. Alright, we drew Red Presence. Another. This card is really popular now. Jeez. Draw a card, please. Swamp? Swamp. Swamp. Um, opposing Dreadhorde Invasion makes Rankle much worse, that's for sure. No, thank you for following, my friend. Sleeping Zibby Cam. <laughs> I gotta make a Sleeping Zibby emote. Just an emote of him sleeping. Shockland, Shockland, Shockland. You got it. Sure. Food, sure. Alright. Um. We're gonna give him the old Rankle Dankle, do we? This card's pretty good too. I feel like disfigure the bird, I guess. An attack. Let's attack first, I guess. We're not gonna rankle, right? Rankle is a pretty good attack, honestly. Andrew from Chicago, playing as Lara, favorite card, Grand Architect. Favorite deck, blue, white, steel, and modern. Puppy name Squee. Sweet. Chicago, thanks, my friend. Appreciate it. If we attack with rankle, what are we gonna do? Like, each player discards? I'm not gonna eat them. Each player draws? Like, that's a weird card. Um, I think we just attack. Alright, play this thing. I'm gonna kill the bird, can constrain their mana. Obviously, they still get the food off of it, but... Yeah, but choosing zero modes is, isn't very good. You know, like... Rumpelstiltskin. Wicked Wolf. So, fight something. Sure. It's annoying, but fun. Now I gotta rankle him. That's because it's not out yet, Gio. Giovanni? It's out on Friday. It's in the future. Sack of food, put a counter on it, indestructible. All right. Just gonna give him the old rank skis. Um. I guess we attack. I guess we edict. Let me just do everything, honestly. We don't discard. Man's pretty good. Just gotta do draw and sack. The three is not a free attack because they I guess they block with the wolf and pump it, but we need me to lose it. And I want to be able to sacrifice it, so. This is Yeah. 
This will be a 4 4 next turn. I can use that Servant. It is better. It's like the. It's like the wolf, huh? So they are currently at two life points, and what is their plan here? I mean, I'm just going to move to combat. Get the old Dread Presence Swamp rolled up. Uh, give him the old Rankled Ankle. Sure. Ah. I guess that wouldn't have mattered anyway, but... Sure, how about a swamp? How about, uh, presents? Still waiting. Oh, it does a food and play. What is this? T food does more things than just, like, sack to things. That is true. All right, so yeah, we're gonna play. We'll play presence, and we'll, we'll we'll end the token. That was probably bad, I guess. I mean, I wanted to presence and shock them. Um, but now, now I have an extra mana. I didn't, didn't know I have, so didn't know I had. Uh, then we'll play this, and we'll go upstairs, make him sack the food, and then end the token. And they die on their upkeep. Nope, they did. They go to one their upkeep. Make them waste their mana and crack the food. There's only two? There's, there's three mana to crack the food. Hmm. Well, you know. Their hand is Paradise Druid, Savvy Hunter, Paradise Druid. Game. Blouses. Three and one. Mono black attack. Let's go. Type the word dread in chat for your chance to win one of these codes. Wishes of the coast. Look at my shirt. Call us apparel. It's so soft. Crab people. What is it? The com Combine Biotech? Combine Biotech. Graft, evolve, adapt. Love it. Sweet design. Super comfy. I got a haircut for TwitchCon. How do I look? 400 viewers. Look at all those card advantages. This is great. Life's good. I believe today is the last day for half price subs. It's the 21st day of 20 days in a row for September. Cottage. Tranquil Cove, ooh. Legion's End, sure. Um, we control Swamp, right? Yeah, we do. Fen Larker. 24 hour stream is next week. Um, I leave, Nicole and I leave for TwitchCon tomorrow. This is the last stream before we leave. And then uh, we'll be gone from Wednesday to Monday. I will do the 24 hour stream some point next week. And um, if I don't off myself first. <laughs> 24 hour stream. Monsters. Monsters out there. Ooh. Ventress Gargoyle. 5 4 flying for 2 mana. Can't attack unless I have 7 cards in my graveyard. Can't block unless they have 4 cards in, in hand. And each player puts top card of your library in the graveyard. So it can block. We hit 1,000, yes. Donation bonus league information is in, in the Discord. We're currently sub only on that. Uh, because we uh, are beta testing it. Say one other swamp. All right. So we can't. This thing can block. This card's like pretty big, honestly. Um, we could Legion's End it also. Should do that next turn. Maybe next turn is just like Legion's End plus Evasion. I like that. I'm adamant.
This card seems good. Very weird card. A lot of words on it. A lot of big numbers. Oh boy. Oh boy. Heh. <laughs> Affinity. And yeah, they're doing stuff. Alright, so we didn't draw... This, is, this comes in tapped. I should have played this last turn. Concession in five. Four. Three. Two. One. There is to Ferry, Glass Casket, Castle of Antris. And they can recast nothing, currently. It is the end of the Legion. Arcanist Owl. Comes into play Impulse for an Artifact or Enchantment. It's not bad. Not bad. They get a Golden Egg. It was the owl that laid the golden egg. And, uh, alright, now we're a little cottage flooded here. Uh, not gonna lie, unfortunately. Um, I think we serve it and try and draw an untapped land to cast the Dreadlord Invasion. Oh, cottage is on. I'm sorry. They, I forgot they count each other. I'm dumb. Um,. Nothing in the graveyard though, so let's uh let's not play it. Yes, twenty four hour stream next week. You sick, sick people. Thanks, Tamer. Caboose, I have put zero thought into the one, the 24-hour stream, except for the fact that I'm going to hate myself for about 13 hours of it. Um, and yes, this is probably the best card of the cycle. The cards of the cycle aren't very good. Uh, kind of weird. All right, lay the golden egg. They have a casket too, which whatever. If it's fairy, whatever. Okay, this this card's so messed up. We're playing this card later in a pretty cool affinity deck. 24-hour. Listen. Y'all got your Mog Mondays, all right? All right. Um, I'm pretty sure we just kill this Emery, honestly. Like, they can't do anything with it yet. They can just start sacrificing these and rebuying them and sacrificing them. This card's insane. Um, all right. Let's draw a card first. This card's so good, too. All right. That card's not as good. I'll just kill this bad boy. Or bad lady. Love the value here. Everything it plays is two for one. Speaking of two for ones. I guess card's legal for the tournament, isn't it? Oh my god. Alright, Orzov Enforcer. Failing to impress, as it usually does. Let's start drawing cards that are uh, Castle Lockthwain, though. Um, three, two, two. I mean, you're not, like, at a high life total, so... Kind of... I guess you might just play this Rider. Just gonna empty my hand, honestly. Yeah, we're just playing two Enforcer. We're just an experiment. I mean, like... It's obviously good against some decks and not good against others, so... If you slam with everything here, we should eat two things, take five. We can wait one more turn for that. Casket? Sure. Kind of a cute card. Sure. Jones, thanks for watching, my friend. You can catch whatever you miss on YouTube, right? Just leaving these things in play. I feel like you cracked these real quick. Alright, they're, they're getting aggro here. Uh, We're probably in trouble if we don't find an answer uh, immediately. So that, that That's what would qualify as an answer. Uh-huh. 
I don't know if I can imagine a better card in this board state. Their hand is Teferi card. Uh, let's tag with everything first and just see what happens. 2, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I'm not pumping Fenlarker into this oh, this mana they have here. Um, I kind of hope they have Settle. And then I can just get a bajillion lands and post-combat Liliana and just kill their stuff. And Getting lands is cool. I like getting lands. Image. New sub. What's anywhere from? Welcome, my friend. Settle rotated. Correct. What the hell else do they have? Oh, they can gain life, though. They're not, they're not dead to it. It's, yeah, they're not dead to it. Everybody chill out. Alright? Everybody chill out. Alright, so... They're at one. We play Liliana. Please don't counter it. We're gonna minus. And then... We're gonna sacrifice... I feel like we sacrifice, uh... Can I keep the Enforcers in play in case they have a, a Wrath effect? Never hurt anyone. It's like Fenlurker's Servant. I don't mind having a Flyer to block too, though, because they have to ferry. What's that Fenlurker 1 Enforcer? From New Jersey, you play Tin Fins and Legacy. Awesome. Thanks, Seven. Appreciate that. Swamp Legion's End. All right. Post-traumatic settle disorder. Love it. PTSD. These cards are so good. Like, these lands are just unreal. Just so much free value for such a, slow, such a low opportunity cost. Alright. Sure, bounce three three, got it. Flesh is weak, resub. Thanks for the videos on YouTube. Just stopping by. I'll take a moment and thank everyone sincerely. I have a lot of people who don't catch the stream normally and watch me on YouTube all the time, but still come here to sub to the stream to support me. Y'all could just watch YouTube for free and never pay a penny. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. You are what makes my stream function. Thank you so much. Um they're at seven. I don't really want a Cavalier, honestly. This is two, four, five, six, obviously, or one short. All right, I guess we'll finish off the ferry. This is our first deck. We just started. I suppose that's how it was meant to happen. The new Evolving Wilds is insane. Uh, it is probably one of the most important lands in the set. Go, I guess. It goes in a lot of decks. It is weird in three color decks, but it's a really good card. Is that four and one for mono black? That was four, right? I think that was four, right? Three and one or four and one? I don't remember. 3-1, 4-1. We beat... We lost the mono black. We beat Todd. Beat some other deck. I think that was 3. Or 4. 4? Four? 4-1? and one? I think it was 4. I have no way to check. So, I'm pretty sure that was 4. Um, so, uh, yeah. Honestly... Deck's pretty sweet. Um, there's a lot of good new cards here. Um, the Servant was awesome. Ayara was awesome. Um, Rankle is good, it's just weird. Um, and then, of course, a lot of the older cards in Dread Presence, Cavalier, and Invasion really really pulled their weight a lot. Enforcer's kind of whatever, it's not really good. Uh, Fenlurker is really good. Um... Servant is a non with Ugin. Listen, if you have an Ugin in play, you're doing fine, all right? Don't worry about it. <laughs> you know? There's other things to worry about. That's a, that's a first world problem for sure. But, um, Mono Black, pretty good. Four and one, all right? That's, uh, that's the Mono Black deck. We have more decks to play, though, so let's keep going here. Mono Black, four and one. Where's the, uh, there we go. 
Four with mono black. Next deck is going to be our Hogak deck, but for you YouTube folks, look for that in a different video, right? Subscribe.